Hello, welcome to the Thursday, March 21st, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich. And well, tomorrow you'll learn from where I'm recording from this week. Keeping an accurate inventory of all the machines on your network is always a critical and challenging task. We do have a hint today from Rob how to make some of this a little bit easier, at least to automate it a bit more. What Rob is looking at is how to use Active Directory in order to help find these machines. But well, uh, this isn't really all that hard for machines that are managed by Active Directory. But Rob is specifically looking for machines that are not actively managed by Active Directory. The script Rob is presenting is listing all the subnets that can currently be found as being active on your network. Then it does dump these subnets into a file that can easily be consumed by your favorite scanning tools. And then optionally also, well, uh, you can set up some exceptions for machines that are already managed by Active Directory. So a great little script that Rob came up with here and I hope that it'll make this somewhat boring task of maintaining these inventories a little bit easier for you. And Microsoft apparently had a problem with its signatures for its anti-malware product that did crash machines if they used real-time protection. Affected were at least Windows 7 and Windows 8 machines. There are also some reports that some of the server operating systems like Server 2012 and 2012 R2 were affected. At this point, haven't really seen anything about Windows 10, so Windows 10 may have been okay in this case. Later today on, well, Wednesday, Microsoft did publish updated signatures. Uh, the version of the good signature file is 1.289.1587.0, and this apparently fixed uh, these crashes. And Nexus Guard, a cloud-based anti-denial of service company, did publish its quarterly thread up report where they're focusing on some of the trends in distributed denial of service attacks. Interestingly, what they're noting is a radical decrease in these type of attacks. They measured 85% less attacks than a year ago, and they're attributing this in part to some aggressive action by law enforcement. The FBI has in particular been targeting and shutting down booter services. Booter services are often used to launch denial of service attacks for hire. So essentially you can hire these services and they then use their botnets in order to launch these denial of service attacks. Now, as far as the remaining anti-denial of service attacks go, there is still a strong component coming from SSDP amplification. UDP attacks are the second component. And then the third common denial of service attack are HTTPS floods. Actually, just uh, yesterday, I happened to sort of do a little demo in class where I was looking at uh, some of my snort logs from home. And uh, just as I was watching the logs, there appeared to have uh, been a fairly brief, just a couple minutes, denial of service attack happening against uh, my web server that did use some malformed TLS packets. Nexus Guard's report is also in line with a similar report by Link11. They focused on Europe and they saw also a significant decrease, decrease of 60% across Europe following some of these web stressor takedowns. And then we got a couple of notable updates to talk about. Firefox released a new version, Firefox 66. Uh, with that, we also have a new version of the Tor browser. Tor browser is the Tor Onion router packed together with a Firefox and in a particular privacy preserving configuration. And uh, then we also got updates from D-Link for a number of their routers, in particular uh, the DWR and DAP 1610 series. 
And one of the comments that sometimes comes in about uh, this podcast is that it would be good to expand on some of the topics that are being discussed here. So Jason Lamb, the author for our Defending Web Application class, and myself, we decided to try sort of a little bit something different and doing once a month a webcast. We're going to focus on specific application security topics. The first one will run on April 2nd, so that's a Tuesday. If you're interested in more details, there's a link to it on the ISC homepage. That's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.